Hi guys, welcome to PHP tutorial series. In this video, we will learn different types of server variables in PHP. Okay, so let us start. Here, I have noted down some of the server variables which are uh, which comes under the PHP. Let me first explain you what is a server. Dollar underscore server. And dollar underscore server is an array which contains information regarding header, pass, and script locations. Okay. The, it will contain information about this about this okay don't for don't uh, bother about this error guys it will contain the dollar underscore server variable is an array which contains the information about this about the header uh, data which is downloading from the server or the paths and location of the files in the server the uh, contains information about these paths also and the file names which are uh, residing in the server okay in this video we will learn different types of server variables uh, used in php okay let us start with the dollar underscore server php self okay uh, here i have written down the explanation you can see uh, this variable server variable returns the name of the currently executing file related relative to the document root okay so uh, guys let me just let us just see what it will return okay just come here echo and okay then let us run this file okay line 3 okay yes change the file name okay and see here it's returning since our file name is index.php which is uh, under our current directory this is our directory php tutorials it will display us the path from our directory in our document root folder okay see as it is explained here relative to the document root our document root folder is this uh, our xamp for htdocs folder okay guys and let me show you here okay. see this is our this is our document root folder in this we have php tutorials and then index.php that is the path it's displaying okay so what we come to know is the dollar underscore server php self will return the name of the currently executing file relative to the document root okay guys now since you are now you understood the use of dollar underscore server php self and now let us see what this server variable will return just come here paste it server it will return server address see it will return as the server address see as I here server returns the IP address internet protocol address of the host server see I here I have returned we have returned uh, uh, server IP address okay. and let us see this part it will server should be server name okay guys copy it let us paste it and come to our site see it's displaying localhost okay our server name is localhost we are running our programs in localhost that's why it is displaying us a server name as a localhost server software copy it it will return as the necessary softwares to run our uh, php programs on the uh, server let us see see here we are uh, running our php programs on the xamp server with the help of this uh, softwares apache two power uh, this apache software with the version 2.4.3 open ssl 1.0 point one c and php version of 5.4.7 it's displaying the necessary softwares which have been used to um, run our php program on the server and see the next one protocol this will return us the protocol copy paste HTTP uh, of version 1.1 protocol we are using. Okay, 
next one is method which method it is using to send a request copy to the server okay see uh, get uh, we will uh, get a get method it's sending request with the uh, help of get method we have two uh, methods by which we can send or receive uh, request either from uh, from and to server okay we can send a request uh, in the form of with the help of get and uh, post methods okay here we uh, with the, uh, with the, this server variable will return the request method in this case we are using get method now let us go to next one copy paste this variable dollar underscore uh, server http except uh, server variable will return us the type of data which we can download from the server here it's telling us the, the text by html application by xhtml plus xml application by xml and image data this kind of data we can download from the server we can accept it is uh, it's telling us that it will accept this kind of, this kind of data from the server and see the next one save it see it will return the local host so http host http host we, we are uh, our host name is local host and that's why it's return it has return as the local host next one file name okay it will return as the file name with the absolute path let us see see we have now we have got the, uh, we are running our program index in index.php that's why it has written as the uh, file currently executing file name with the absolute path it is showing as the path from our document root directory see xamp slash hdocs slash php tutorial slash index.php okay guys this uh, server variable will, will return as the uh, path of our currently executing file of, uh, from absolute uh, path okay next is server port it will return us the port on which server, server is running paste see 80 port uh, number uh, port number 80 i am using here see it return port number of the server machine used by the web server for the communication okay guys here you will see this under the dollar underscore server port number will return as the server machines port which is used port number which is used to make connection make communication with the web server okay. okay the next one paste so script name see it will return as the uh, uh, currently executing file on the server you guys now you understood all the uh, different types of uh, server variables in php i hope you understand these uh, server variables uh, if you like this video subscribe to my channel thanks for watching guys